hello everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers thank you for uh tuning in um uh these days and so i wanted to come in very very late i just wanted to do this tag i know it was originally started by holly dolly here on youtube and i watched her video then i watched then I binge watch. You ever do that? You start watching a tag or following somebody and then you just kind of binge watch. And so, yeah, I, I watched a lot of the seamstress tags. So much fun. So I thought I would come in. I, and I think this was probably started probably over a year ago. But, um, or about a year ago. And so... I want to come in and do uh, my seamstress tag so you all can get to know me a little bit more. Um, I am, who am I? The first question is, who are you? So I am Natural Dane here on YouTube. For those who also know me um, on social media, you know I'm Natita. I am the um, creator and owner of the Fabric Beauty. But um, I live in, where does this say? live in Texas and what do I do full-time so full-time I am an auditor I have been in the audit industry ever since I got out of college so it's been quite a few years and I absolutely enjoy uh, what I do I am married um, and have three bonus children and so which means for those who don't know what bonus children mean which means my husband and I do not have children together but he has um, three daughters and so um, I have bonus children <clears throat> um, and a bonus grandchild because one of the girls has a son and so yeah so that is who I am and what I do full time and like I said I am an auditor the second question is when and why did you start sewing and I have the questions here so I'll be looking down periodically um, when and why so the when, I can't pinpoint a date. All I know is that I have been sewing since I was younger. My mother actually taught me how to sew. Um, I remember um, even in eighth grade doing a fashion a fashion show. So when I was growing up, going to school, there was home ec, wood shop class. You learn those basic skills, life skills um, through high school. And I know, unfortunately, these days, at least here in the U.S., not sure about other parts of the uh the world but it's um it seems to be art things like art uh home ec wood shop class stuff like that is just pretty much gone out of the school system which is so unfortunate um but um i did go to have home ec class but my mother taught me and then uh, she had me on pottery classes i remember having taking art and all that stuff was so much fun. It was a nice creative outlet. And so, um, so I started sewing when I was younger. And then, like I said, eighth grade, I did a fashion show. I did some pattern. It was Brooke Shields on the front. Um, so yeah, this was so many moons ago. And <laughs> I remember Brooke Shields was on the front of this pattern. It was a black and blue checkered dress and I did. It was a zipper. Then I did this jogging suit with the zipper and all this different stuff. I can't tell you what kind of techniques or I don't remember anything really the specifics. And so, um, but then I got out of it when I went to high school and then not until years later that I buy the a sewing machine, which I'll show what that machine is. And then I did some curtains. I got away from garment making and then years passed again. And then um, when I started my business, uh, I began making prayer pillows and so then from there which was about two years ago now then from there I began picking back up my garment making and then that's when I realized oh I need some serious help because my techniques and thought process somehow got away from me over the years so that's the long answer to that question what is your favorite or proudest make my favorite make and um which is probably uh covering another question too is the McCall 7121 and I actually have that on now I don't know if I'll be able to let's see if I can kind of it's very long I showed this in another video it goes very long well you can't really see but it goes all the way down to my ankle and so I made three of these and I absolutely love them let me stabilize this I absolutely love them. So these are my favorite and um, proudest makes so far to date because I've made three. 
Um, and one I made with the lace overlay. So I'll link that video because I think I have a video what I've made and I'll link that and then you can you can check that up if you choose because then I show the one with the lace overlay. Um, what is your most disastrous make? Um, it is a skirt that I made and a dress. Um, before I really um, got back into paying attention to um, garment making, I would always figure, I would always think, oh, I wear a size X, Y, and Z in the store. I will cut out that size and make that size. Well, as we all know, now that's not how it works. <laughs> so after I've taken my sewing class, my in-person class, you know, I've talked about that um, a few videos back and showed the skirt that I made and I can link that video too but I I realize now that most patterns and probably all for the most part I will have to make some adjustment and I don't even go by when it says finished garment adjustment I don't even go by that um because I have hips I have curves and I need to accommodate those and so um so I don't even go by that. I just take my all the different measurements, you know, everything from here to here, bust, arms, hips, from, you know, all the um, different measurements that could change. And, um, and then I do my uh, adjustments based on that. And so I did, had a skirt, I've had a dress that uh, it was just too tight, ill-fitting, and I ended up just giving the dresses over to Goodwill. And, um... Cause I didn't want to throw them out, and now in hindsight, I pro except for the skirt, cause it was a layered skirt, I would still get it out to Goodwill. But the other one, the fabric was so cute, I actually would have kept it and cut it and made it into something else. Now I know. <laughs> Number five, what is your, where is your um, favorite place to go shopping? And so for me, um, before. It closed was Hancock's. Um, loved Hancock fabrics. They always had different nice um, um, fat garment fabrics and different things like that. Joann's, you know, could be hit or miss. I've found a few things as of late that um, was nice, but I like online mostly. And so um, there are a few online places off the top of my head. Uh, I think it's Style Fabrics, a few that I've just come across. Um, I know So Essential. I know that's out of the UK. There's also Hearts Fabric, Girl Charlie. Um, there's quite a few. If I um, remember, I'll link a few that I've recently discovered in the description box below. And so, and a mix of those are here in the US and some that are um, across the pond. What is your most used pattern or your tried and true pattern, and mine is, I already said, is the McCall 7121, and I made three. Um, and then um, a fast second is, is a couple projects that I'm working on now, but up to this point, I'll just keep it at that. And then I'll share in my Mar March Makes video um, some of my new favorites that I'm enjoying. My most dreaded sewing task. I do not like cutting out pattern pieces. It's just, oh. It's like, oh, can I just give this to you? Let you know what all the adjustments are. Go do the adjustments, somebody. Cut it all out for me and then get, give it back. And then I can cut it out. And actually a bonus would be if you go ahead and cut out the fabric as well with the pattern pieces. That's the part for me that's just kind of like, ugh. And hemming. Hemming. Oh, me and hems, you know, we have issues. And anything that requires a neckband, we got issues. But I will conquer the hem and I will conquer the neckband. Um, especially on knits. Ugh. But those will have to be my most dreaded task. Cutting out pattern pieces. That's why I said in the previous video, I have to do things in stages. I can't just sit, cut everything out, make adjustments, cut that and do trace and everything all in the same day. I, I can't. It, I have to break it up. One day, I will cut out the pattern piece, right? I have a pattern piece here. I'll cut out the pattern pieces one day. Then the next day, um, I'll know what the adjustments I need to make, and then I'll make my adjustments and then uh, put the adjustments to the pattern like this. This is an adjustment I had to make. And then another day, then I'll start cutting out the actual pattern pieces, and then, depending on how many it is, then the next 
go around, that's when I'll start sewing. Or if it's not that many pattern pieces, I'll start sewing that same day. And I've done that for the cashmere t-shirt where I cut out the pattern, the fabric pieces, and then I just started sewing it that same day. So it, it depends that last part, but yeah. Mm. And hemming and neck bands, yeah. What is your favorite... Um, what is your favorite sewing task? Um, it's probably the actual sewing part, the actual putting the pieces together. And when I'm getting towards the end, it's like, Ugh, and, and that's when I really get excited. And that's probably when the hemming part annoys me the most. Cause I know, Oh, I still have to hem. That's like the last part. And so, um, but yeah, I would say that process of just sewing it, um, all together, um, is, is fun. What is your favorite sewing entertainment? Um, so for me, while sewing, I tend not to listen to anything. 90% of the time I'm not listening to anything. Um, cause I'm just really just thinking about, um, what I'm doing and, or if I listen to something that's probably gospel music. Um, so I enjoy listening to gospel music, very upbeat and I'm singing and I'm, it's just, yeah, that's fine. And no, I can't sing. Um, <laughs> Uh, printed or PDF patterns. Well, so far I've only printed out one PDF pattern and I actually end up tossing it because I was just like, I, I'm, no, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not about this cutting it out, taping it together. What I'm going to do is actually, and it's a good thing because they actually update us a collette pattern, the Sorbetto top. Um, they actually recently, I think updated it recently or something. And so I'm actually just going to send the print the the size that needs to be cut to the to um uh, office depot or ups print somebody and have it printed and then i'll trace it so i won't cut it i'll trace it because i will want to you know make it more than once and i don't want to be sending something to the print shop every time i want to cut it so i'll just send to the print shop that one time and then um i'll trace out the design after that um Let's see, what sewing machine do you use? All right, so let me pause and I'll just show you. It's messy because I'm doing some doing some projects. So let's hold on. Let's uh all right. So this is my sewing machine. This is the brother pace setter PS2500. Um, I got this over 10 years ago. It was at that time it was under a thousand dollars, I want to say. It was over 700 but it was under a thousand i do like it. it has nice uh throat space um but uh yes i i do love it there's a few things that need to i need to get this fixed this stopped working um and i broke off a needle and it's like all the way down in the bottom it doesn't bother any of my sewing or anything like that but and it's a really very small piece but it definitely needs to come out. So this is what I sew on. I am a brother girl. I do want a Juki one day, but I am a brother girl. Um, and so this is my brother um, sewing machine. Um, and I also have the brother overlocker, the the um, my serger. So absolutely love that. I'm still learning some tricks of the trade with that one and then when i'm embroidering um and like i said i got all kind of stuff in here but um i use this was gifted to me um by i don't know if she'll see this video by the wonderful patrice of sassafras home she um gifted me this last year i received it last year february which was a day the weekend of my birthday i had gotten it in the mail um she didn't attend it as a birthday gift it was just she was it just happened to arrive during that time so i absolutely love this this is um i do a lot of my i do all of my embroidery on this machine and what i'm learning too is to do um some quilting um, through um, the hoops on on this machine as well so those are the machines that I use all right so those are my machines uh, that I currently use like I said on my my list I do want a Juki and I do want a cover stitch machine and um, so yeah and I actually wouldn't mind having one more domestic uh, machine um, but I'm good for right now, but I want the cover stitch in the Juki for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, do you have any other hobbies? Any other hobbies? So, love to travel. My husband and I love to travel, and I am an absolute 
die hard football fan. I love, 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 love NFL football. And so sewing for me when football season starts, we don't sew on Sundays because I am watching football. It's all day. Thing me and my husband, we get off into it and he, I'm a Green Bay Packer fan. Green Bay Packer fan. And so we love to travel. And so one of the things my husband and I um, did quite a bit um, was every year um, we go to a Packer game. We go to a different state. So I think the last one we went to, oh, we, we stayed uh, home and went to a game up in Lambeau at um, a Green Bay home game. And so this year, we didn't go la go to a game last year, but this year we're going probably to when Green Bay plays Dallas um, or if they play the New Orleans Saints. So we are going to a game. So we love, 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 love to travel, love um, trying new food. So we do go out to different restaurants. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I just really, really, I do enjoy sewing. Um, that is definitely my favorite uh, pastime. And like I said, once football season is in, woo, 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 I'm all about the Green Bay Packers and um, enjoying me some football, not into any of the other sports um, at this point. But um, so, yeah. Um, and you know what? I do like um, wine. And um, so doing wine tastings, that's fun. Doing a wine tasting is fun. I haven't done that in a while. Um, we haven't done that in a while, but that is fun. But with the traveling and all that, love to travel, love trying new things and different stuff like that. So I think that's it. I have covered everything. Thank you everybody for watching. If I missed something or if you have any additional questions about anything, let me know. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Um, and so, or if you want to know anything in particular about, I don't think my machines are anything special um, by any means. Everybody knows about the Brother 1034D and the Brother SE400, the embroidery slash sewing machine. I only use that machine for embroidery, although I can sew on it. Um, I only use it for embroidery only. Um, and my Brother Pace Setter 2500. So that's all I got. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. You all have a fantastic rest of your week. Um, I'll come in. I'll come in again pretty soon, probably um, before the end of the week, because I did buy a couple patterns, but that'll be in a separate video. All right, everybody, have a great day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.